What's up guys, this is Joe Murphy, I'm fighting Carson Beebe in uh, World Series of Fighting 3. With Carson, I don't know how long I'll be able to use my stand-up game before he goes into wrestling mode, but we'll see what happens. I think that actually, it could play out as an advantage to me because they all go back to that wrestling mode. Once they get popped a couple times, they go back to what they're comfortable with and that's going to the ground. So potentially he's going to do all the hard work for me and put it right where I want to be. He's been in a lot of five round fights, three round fights, and uh, I've only had one fight go all three rounds. So yeah, he's had a lot more experience in the ring. He's spent a lot more time in the ring, but um, I don't think he's ever fought someone that's going to try to finish him the whole 15 minutes of the fight like I would. had to take about a year off and um, it really made me take my career more seriously. I stretch more, I stay a lot more routine with my workouts and stuff instead of just training for a fight and then getting out of shape, training for a fight, getting out of shape. Now I use it as like, it's like a lifestyle. So it really matured me as a fighter, as an athlete and um, even though it was a big setback, I think it moved me forward a lot more than it moved me back. For that injury, I used jiu-jitsu and I kind of hid behind my jiu-jitsu because I wasn't very comfortable boxing, I wasn't very comfortable doing Muay Thai or anything. I was wrestling, doing Judo and Jiu Jitsu because that's where I've been my whole life. And I hit the bag every now and then and stuff, but I never really did striking. And uh, with the hamstring tear, it really made me focus outside of, because I couldn't use my guard for a while, I couldn't wrestle for a little while. But I could hit the bag, I could do mitts, and uh, it really made me go outside the box, get a little uncomfortable at first, but uh, it really developed my whole MMA game as a striker too. Before I wouldn't move my head, I would just try to walk through punches. Now I'm actually slipping, moving, hitting back, countering. Clever Jiu Jitsu being one of the biggest Jiu Jitsu schools in Southern California, we have black belts from all over the world, Brazil, Poland, um, all over the United States. We got Clever himself, uh, Jose Diaz over there, uh, Fabiano, those guys are all improving my ground game every day. Uh, here at Grandpa's Boxing Gym, my coach Jesse, he's holding mitts for me all the time, pushing me, pushing me, almost killing me every day with sprints and stuff. They're just in there beating me up every day. And then um, I'm out with the NOC fight team at night, and then we're just training all day, every day. A victory in this fight really will put me on the map more than anything else I've done has. I've been specializing everything. Instead of going to an MMA gym and just learning everything, I go to the Jiu Jitsu gym for Jiu Jitsu. I go to the wrestling room for wrestling. I go to the boxing gym for boxing. I go to the Muay Thai gym for Muay Thai. So I think that has developed my skill sets individually so much. He's a real durable, real tough guy. And um, I mean, unless one of us gets caught slipping early in the fight, I think it's going to go to the second or third round before I catch him in a choke. I've seen him on the ground. He has uh, one or two submissions off of low-level ground guys, and uh, I don't see him really that threatening on the ground. Um, his wrestling, that's going to be his strong point. He wrestled in college. He did a lot of, uh, he's had a lot more wrestling experience than me, but uh, I think with my judo, my wrestling background, to equal it out. He does have a very effective top control smothering technique and uh, I'm hoping with the big stage, with all the crowds, the TV, everything, he's gonna wanna put on a fight of the night performance rather than lay on the ground and cuddle. June 14th, don't forget to catch my fight with Carson Beebe.